I'm going to go through uh, an evaluation procedure uh, for picking the books that I'm going to use for abstract algebra or seeing what they're like. Um, I know that it's going to be uh, Galleon and Frigley, it seems like, from all the reading that I've done and the lookups that I've done. But I still want to go through the whole exercise. Uh, so just to show you what the table is, has, uh, these are the nine books. They're right here. Uh, and then uh, I have... I have uh, eight criteria, five of which are must-haves for me as like the book that I'm going to use. Uh, and then there are three that are sort of like nice-to-haves. Uh, number one, the book has to have answers in the back. Number two, I'm going to go for the first book being group, then rings. Uh, and I think uh, I would like to do a rings, then group book later. I'm not sure yet. I don't really know right now. Uh, it's got to have modern notation. I think it's a lot easier on the reading. I would like to have a PDF of the book. I commute and I use my lunch hour sometimes to write notes, although I think the model that's going to work is actually taking a day off every week, which I'm, I'm going to do for the, during the summer anyways, um, to write up the notes and then I can do problems during lunch, which is easier. Uh, where is the book portable? Can I fit it in my bag uh, when I commute? Those five are really the must-haves. Uh, it'd be really nice if the book covered modules, just because uh, doing all that linear algebra, uh, I think free modules are really vector spaces. I'm not sure if I'm completely correct about that, but the chapters that I've seen on modules are very linear algebra friendly, and I'd like to learn about them. It's also nice, nice if the book has a graduate level companion. I've sort of answered this question implicitly by mentioning that the books that I'm considering are the undergrad version, so that sort of gives it away. And then whether there is an, a student exercise book. All right, so let's get going. So the first book is uh, Pinter. I've already made a video about this book. And so uh, one thing, I mean, this book's got a lot of things uh, that I really like. It does have answers in the back. Right here. It, it does have answers. Um, then um, does it? if we look at the uh, table of contents... We can see right here, groups first, then um, then rings second. Rings, right there, rings. All right. Now, does it have modules? Substitution of polynomials, extension of the fields, vector spaces. It has vector spaces. Uh, now, I'm not seeing mo a chapter on modules. I'll look up module in the table of contents, and I don't see it. So there you go. So actually, uh, Pinter has, it's a group then rings. It does not have modern notation. I do not have a PDF. It is portable. It does not have modules. It does not have a graduate level comp uh, companion, and it doesn't have an exercise book. Uh, so there you have it. That's Pinter. And I've made a video about this book. And of the ones that I haven't made a video of, please leave the comments if you want me to make a specific video for that book. Uh, I'm going to be brief in this video. And so there are things that I'm just not going to say. Let me get my pile right here so that I can make it. Okay, so then Jacobson. I've actually spent a little bit of time uh, reading in Jacob Jacobson. I took it on, the, on, on my commute. And uh, actually, let me make this a little bigger because that way uh, all the books fit. All right, so Jacobson. Jacobson, I've already made a video about this book before. Um, made a video of both books, the undergraduate and the graduate. So there's a volume two. Of course, this, this is a really old set of books uh, that have been reshaped in different versions over the decades. So it's got groups. And I like the way that it talks about monoids and semi-groups, which is a discussion that very few books uh, get into. Then rings, and it's got modules. That's really nice. So now, of course, it does not have answers in the back. It just doesn't. All right, so let's, let's go through Jacobson's thing. Uh, it does not have answers in the back. Group then rings. I don't consider the notation modern. I've read in it, and I, it just doesn't feel like that. I don't have a PDF. It is portable. I've taken it on my commute. It does have modules. It does have a graduate level companion. It does not have a student exercise book. Okay, so there's that one. Then Lang. 
Uh, this book uh, feels like a bunch of lecture notes that we put together for a book. Uh, it has very few examples. Uh, it does not have answers in the back. And um, it does not have a chapter on modules. Okay, but it is a groups then rings first. Uh, the notation, even though you could call it modern, um, yeah, I guess the notation is a little modern, but I have found, at least for the case of the linear algebra book from Lang, that um, he does have a little bit of different notation. But I guess I could call, I guess we can call this modern. And uh, this book does have a gigantic uh, graduate level book, this behemoth. <laughs> so, yeah. And then, of course, I've already shown Jacobson. Again, uh, if there's any book that I show that I haven't made a video for, just let me know, and I'll, I'll make it. Uh, okay, Lang. No answers in the back. Group then rings. I'm going to give it a... It's almost like a half point. No PDF. It is portable, definitely. It does not have modules. It does have a graduate level companion. and doesn't have... Now, there's an answer book that has been published, but it's expensive. So, there you have it. R10, I don't know if you would consider R10 an undergraduate book. Maybe it's a crossover book that's got, that can be used for a graduate level course. I don't know enough abstract algebra to know. If anybody knows, just put it in the comments. I love this book. This book predates uh, all of my work in this channel. I've had this book for maybe like 10 years. So it is groups first, uh, and it does have modules. I know that for a fact. Because this is the first time, uh, the first book in which I read a little bit about modules. Now, it does not have answers in the back. I know that for a fact. That is a, a major drawback of this book. But uh, I have attempted to read before. I really love this book. And uh, definitely it's a book that if I have the time, I want to do maybe as a second book. I'm not sure. But it's heavy on linear algebra. And I, I love that about it. Uh, I don't think I've made a video about it. Maybe I'll make a video about it. So, R10 does not have answers in the back. Group then rings. Modern notation. No PDF. Although I think I can look for one on the on the interwebs. It is not portable. It does have modules. Does not, but I'll put an asterisk in it, in here. And it doesn't have, that I know of, an exercise book. Then what about Rodman? I have made a video about Rodman. It does not have answers in the back. That's a shame because the book is really readable. I have taken it on my commute uh, and I really liked it, like it. Uh, and it's got a graduate level companion. Uh, it is a groups then rings book. Very brief, but I think, I think this is one of the books that I'm going to be taking on my commute often uh, when I have a question. And I have made a video about this book. So Rotman does not have answers in the back. Groups then rings. Modern notation, no PDF, definitely portable, no modules, does have a graduate level companion, and I don't know of an exercise book. Then Alufi, a recent purchase, and I am going to make a video about this book, I think at some point I really like it. Now, I've read on the interwebs that it does have some typos, but, you know, that's, that's fine. So Alufi has a rings, then groups uh, way of doing it. And it does modules. I really like that. Uh, it does not have answers in the back, though. But it is really readable. Alufi is a great expositor. And so, yeah, this book... Yeah, this book is really nice. It's got a lot of figures. Um, yeah, it's a really nice book. Absolutely. Uh, let me see. Is that, what does that say? Solution, oh, solutions to selected exercises. Well, I blew that one. Okay, I was wrong about this book. I guess when I was looking through it, I missed that. Okay, good to know. All right, so that's, boy, that really lifts Alufi quite a bit. Uh, no, it's a rings, then, uh, then groups. Uh, yes, I don't have a PDF, but he's got some lecture notes somewhere that I can find. Uh, I, I would call that book portable. It does have modules. It does have a graduate level companion. I don't know of an exercise book. Uh, then the final three, I think this is the troika of what I would consider some of the common uh, abstract algebra books. Uh, Hungerford, 
which interestingly enough, I did get me an earlier edition as well because there's a little missing bit that I wanted. And the books, this book you can find cheap. So I actually have an earlier edition as well. Um, so in this case, this is a rings, then groups book. I know that from having looked through it. Uh, does it have modules? I do not think so. Uh, does it have answers in the back? It does. I know that for a fact. Boy, I had looked at a Luffy, but I guess I hadn't looked at the book enough. I'm very happy to find out that it's got answers in the back. So yeah, it's got answers in the back. Uh, I'm going to look up modules in the table of contents, but I already know that there isn't a chapter for it. So yeah, no, no. All right. So what about Hunger Ford? Uh, it does have answers in the back. No, it's a uh, rings then groups. It does have modern notation. I don't have a PDF. Uh, it is portable. It does have modules. It does have a graduate level companion. No, does it? Yes, yes, it does. Right here. Yep, it does have a graduate level companion uh, book. Uh, and then uh, it does not have, that I know of, uh, an exercise book. But it may because it's one of these uh, standard books. Okay, so then that, now we're down to the what I think are going to be the, the books that I use the most. I've already actually started reading this book in, the, in my commute. Uh, it reads really well. Uh, I would definitely call this book Abstract Algebra for Babies. And I love that. I love that. It is supremely well written, really baby talk, which I need as a self uh, learner. Groups, then rings. It does not have uh, modules. Uh, it does have answers in the back. Okay, and I guess I didn't put as a, as a uh, as a criteria whether the book is readable or not. But I find all these books to be readable, so I don't think I think it's a wash in the sense that they all satisfy that. Uh, yeah, this book reads really, really well. Yeah, and it's got a ton of exercises, which I will be attempting for sure. All right, so Fraley uh, does have answers in the back. It is a group then rings. It has modern notation. I don't have a PDF, but I'm going to put a dollar sign here. I looked it up, and I can buy it, rent it by the month, and I may. I may. I may do that because I, I am going to use it. And, you know, it wasn't that expensive. I think it was like 50 bucks to have the PDF of the book. Uh, they have another plan where you get videos. Yeah, I may do that. I mean, you know, it, it's, it may be worth it. It is portable. I've already taken it on my, on my uh, commute. We saw that it did not have modules. It does not have a gradual level companion. And I don't know of an exercise book. I'm going to put an X. Then finally, the one that I know is going to be the one, of course, I already knew this before. That's why I said, you know, this is not like, oh, surprise. No, there's no surprise here. You should have known this from the beginning. Uh, and I'll just show it. And I will make a video of Galleon. I have multiple, uh, I have multiple editions, two of them. Um, yeah. And I have the exercise, I bought the exercise book for ninth edition uh, on eBay and it's on its way. So I know for a fact. This is a groups, uh, then rings uh, book. Uh, I don't believe it has modules. Does it? I don't think so. It's got a lot of stuff, but it doesn't have modules. Can you believe it? A lot of answers in the back. I love that about Galleon. This is, I think this is considered, I would consider it numero uno uh, for abstract algebra books. Uh, no, it does not. No, it does not. What a, that, what a shame. You know, it would have been the perfect book if it had modules. For me, at least. All right. So then Galleon, and I think we're almost done here. Answers in the back. Groups, then rings. Modern notation. I do have a PDF. I found it. Uh, it is portable. It does not have modules. does not have a graduate level companion. And it does have uh, an exercise book. So really, really... I think I'm going to try to be using the answers in the back, of course, for all of these books. Uh, now, Alufi's stock has risen since my ignorance before making this video uh, about... Okay, so now I think I can zoom in here to this table. Uh, 
So then, uh, yeah, so I think the, the groups, uh, the Rings Den Groups books uh, are second round books. Um, I really like Artan. So I'm going to, I'm going to put three stars next to the books that call my attention for, uh, use. Okay. And then I'm going to put five stars next to Galleon for my own sake. Now, these are my stars. They mean nothing to other people, or they may not be the same for other people. So I knew for a fact all along that I was going to use Galleon, uh, after receiving Fraley, and reading a bit, of, a little bit, I, I really like it. I'm going to be using a Luffy, I think, uh, and I'm going to be using the answers in the back for Hungerford. Uh, I'm going to be taking Robman on on the commute sometimes, and I want to do our tan someday. Unfortunately, this guy is a no. I want to read from Jacobson at some point. I really like his whole uh, starting with monoids and semigroups, and I really like Pinter and it's got answers. So really, except Lang, I think Lang's going to be the one where I'll look at it every now and then. But all of the other books, I have a reason for which I will be looking into them. Uh, and maybe even making some comparisons. I did that for Lenny Audra. Uh, so there you have it.